Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I finally have a new IMS video for you. It has been a while since I've done one of these. I don't even remember the last time I did that. Um, it also has been a while since I sat down and filmed the video, so I'm super excited about it. However, it is 2 p.m., around 2 p.m., and the sun is setting already. You know, it's winter time. So, yeah, if the lighting is bad, I apologize. Also, I realize I look absolutely terrible. Why well, eyes have never looked that bad? Like, this dark. I really do not get a lot of sleep. So anyways, these are the star skin, the gold the gold mask eye. Revitalizing luxury gold foil eye masks. That's what it looks like. So this is for all skin types and it's travel friendly too. And in the back you have the how to use. So start with the clean dry skin. Remove masks from protective layers. Apply under eyes, leaving space between mask and lash line. And then leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and disregard, and uh, disregard, and discard. Gently pat in remaining serum, do not rinse. Okay, so let's open that. Okay, that just flew everywhere. Mmm! Oh, that smells nice. Okay, so this is what. Oh! I think you put this side on your face, not the cold side. I have my trusty baby Yoda mirror here. and. I'm always complaining about this. It is so small. It is half my face. Yes, they're super cute. But I wish it was bigger. Like, look. These are the same size on both ends, you know what I mean? Sometimes the part that goes here on the inside is thinner, and then it gets bigger on the outside. This is all just one size. Or so it looks like. Um, oh, they are in, are they in between. Yes, they are in between here. Oh, okay, so one is stuck to that plate, one is stuck to this plate. Would I bring my mirror if I don't need to look at it? Oh, wow. Okay, leave some space between the mask and the lash line. The move bit. Thing is, should you not... I mean, obviously I'm not another pro at this, but should you not put the gold on your face. Is this name just because the mask is gold? Okay, I guess like this. There is still some space. They are very slippery though. Oh, you can use them one to two times a week. Use immediately after opening for extremely sensitive and allergic skin. A patch test is recommended for external use only. Store in a cool, dry place. That's it. That's that's all it says. So I believe this on for. Honestly, as long as I can, because I still have to watch The Crown. I'm only on episode 5, I think. We just had the tampon gate, the Camilla gate, if you know what I mean. And it was very awkward, yet funny, but still awkward. The guy that plays Prince Charles always reminds me of John Cena. He does a fantastic job in playing Prince Charles, right? But it's just, whenever I see him, something in the back of my head just goes, da, 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 da. I will probably leave this on for a bit longer than they recommend. So far... It's actually nice, you know, it's very cooling. That could be because my room is cold, right? And I'm sure if you put it into the fridge and then use, it would have the same effect. Very cooling, it doesn't hurt. And I have it rather close to my eyes. Obviously there's still some space in between, but I have it rather close. It doesn't hurt, it feels good so far. The smell, you, you can always smell, you know, you have it underneath your eyes, you can smell it. Which is a bit sad because it actually smells really good. So, anyways, I'm leave it on for... Can I put my glasses on? Mm, not really. Okay, so I'm gonna watch it without glasses. It's fine. I can read the subtitles. So, I'll be back whenever I feel like I'm ready. <sighs> okay, so I'm back. As you can see, I was able to wear my glasses, so that's nice. And they're not even dirty now. Okay. However, this did slide down a bit. I had to fix this one. I had to fix that one as well. So if you put this on, then just go on with your you know, normal life. You might have some problems with it sliding down. If you just lay down and not do anything, it will pop this there on. So, this is now fully dry. It's a little bit cold and it's still a bit wet underneath, you know, against my skin. It hurts a little. So, it hurts right here. It's not even that close to my eye, but it hurts and it also hurts here. So, I'll just take it off. It's a bit plumper. I don't know. And yeah. You can see it is still a bit wet where it was, so 
this. Oh, that's still very wet. Oh, I didn't think I didn't think it would be this bad. It was really revitalizing. It felt good. It was very cooling, and it did sting a little. So that is like you don't get a bonus point for that, right? I will deduct a point or two for that reason. It still looks the way it looked before. You know, I feel it will maybe plump up the skin a bit, but you know, it's I use it once, right? And even says in the back to use it once or twice weekly. Right, from one use you cannot see that much of a difference. I think it looks good, it looks very moisturized, healthy. You know, like there's nothing I can do against wrinkles, right? Look, they're just there. It, it was okay, I would not repurchase this. I mean, I got this in a little fantastic box, so I didn't really purchase it. So, but just for the fact that it actually hurt a little... No. The thing with these masks is, like on the arm masks, lip mask, sheet mask, I rarely see a difference, right? The only time I see a difference is when you have a peel-off mask where you can actually see all the gunk coming out of your pores. Other than that, these sheet-type masks, they're just nice for relaxation for me, right? They don't do anything crazy. Maybe afterwards they give me pimples because I have an allergic reaction or whatever, but they don't do any breathtaking and groundbreaking work on my skin. So anyways, let me know if you had that one before. Let me know if it hurt you as much as it hurt me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel already and see you next one.